Hello everyone, welcome to Academic Coordinates. This is an introductory video to sequencing series for grade 12s. Specifically for this video, we are looking at arithmetic sequences. Sometimes we refer to them as linear sequences. It's a sequence with a common difference between consecutive terms. 3, 6, 9, um, 12, 15, right and then they asked you to determine whether is this sequence arithmetic or not you know so you're gonna find the common difference between these terms right okay so um this is how we're gonna do it so you're gonna say six minus three that is three you're gonna say nine minus six that is three you're gonna say 12 minus nine that is three 15 minus 12 that is three so this shows that we have got a common difference between these consecutive terms and i want you guys to take note that we have learned about um quadratic 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 sequences for quadratic sequences these ones have got a common second difference however arithmetic sequences have got a common first difference right so that is how you would show whether a sequence um is arithmetic in fact these three six nine twelve these are called terms right so basically this three is term one right this six is term two this nine is term three right so basically to show whether it, it is an arithmetic sequence or not it's going to be term two minus term one you need to check whether is that equals to term three minus term two you know what i'm saying so if this is not equals if these are not equal then it's not an arithmetic sequence right okay let's look at the second um sequence let's say you've got okay this is the first one let's look at the second one let's say you've got negative half um half 3 over 2, 5 over 2, right? So let's say we've got a sequence like this. And then we ought to find whether is this um, arithmetic or not. We're going to do the same thing we did on the first um, sequence. We're going to find, you know, um, the common difference right here. Um, okay, cool. So let me just write it on the side here. It's going to be half minus minus. Uh, 1 over 2 so this is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 right so basically a half plus half is 1 there is it so it's half um, minus negative half so now we come here 3 over 2 minus half 3 over 2 minus half right so it's 3 minus 1, it's 2 divided by 2, that equals to 1, right? Okay, cool, guys. So we continue. So that is 1 there. Then 5 over 2 minus 3 over 2. Let me also write it here. 5 over 2 minus 3 over 2. So that is 5 minus 3, it's 2 divided by 2, that equals to 1. So yes, this is an arithmetic sequence, right? So now let's look at variables, um, um, sequences that do not necessarily have numbers, right? Let's say you're given x minus 3y, um, then this is the first term. The second term is x minus y. The third term is x plus y. Then the fourth term is x plus 3y. So we have to determine whether or not this is an arithmetic sequence or not. So we're going to do the same thing, right? It's going to be the second term minus the first term. So it's x minus y. Don't let this x and this y's, um, you know, um, disturb you. Just continue doing what you would normally do, right? So minus x minus 3y. It's important that you put this in, in brackets. Right, because of this negative will be distributed uh, between there, right? Then, also, 
x plus y, that's the third term, minus x uh, minus y, right? Then we're going to get our value there. And then the last one, it's going to be x plus 3y, right? Minus x plus y, you know? Okay, cool. So now it's a matter of, you know, simplifying it nicely. So, um, so x, let's look at this one. So x minus y minus x. Um, so a negative multiplied by negative 3y, that's going to be plus um, 3y. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's look at this one. Or let's just simplify this one further. So x minus x, that's going to be 0. So negative y plus 3y, that is going to be 2y. So this is the difference between this term and this term. Let's look at this one. So here we've got x plus y minus x, then negative uh, multiplied by a negative is a positive, plus y, right? So x minus x, that's 0, y plus y, that is 2y, right? Okay, let's um, look at the last one. Let's just check it out. So it's x plus 3y. Okay, I was not supposed to put it in brackets, but anyway, it's cool. So minus x minus y, okay? Yeah? So x minus x, that is 0. 3y minus y, that is 2y, right? So what, is, what does this show now, guys? This shows that, yes, this is an arithmetic sequence, right? Because there is a constant or a common difference between consecutive terms, right? So we normally write that difference as d. Right, in like for example, here would say d is equals to 2y, you know. Okay, cool, guys. Thank you for watching. On the next video, we're going to derive um, a very important uh, formula that you just cannot survive without it, you know, in sequencing series the nth term, the general term of an arithmetic sequence. Do stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your day.